What's up, Silas here. This is a quick video on some thoughts surrounding the Miss America pageant, or just pageants in general. So I just posted this, uh, this thing. I was kind of just joking around and uh, posted this in one of my social media. Let me see if I can pull it up. It was pretty much just playing and talking about the whole reaction to it. As I expected, a lot of people on the political right are kind of up in arms about this. I don't really think it's a big deal. So I'm saying like the Miss America pageant, needs to stop the entire thing until it allows males in or helps fund a male equi equivalent. Hashtag men are beautiful too. So get that hashtag trending. It's not going to be trending. <laughs> but anyway, so um, my whole play on this is a few things going into this. First of all, there's a whole WNBA and the NBA thing. The WNBA is not profitable. It's on a constant loss. But there was this push to have um, a women's league out there because a lot of players play in college and they're very successful. There's a European league. Some women are complaining and saying that why must I move to another country to play the sport that I love and care for when the men can do that here. So yes, there's that, but the WNBA is not profitable. People don't go to watch it. Women don't even go to watch it. But the, w the NBA itself, the National Basketball Association, which is a men's league, it actually funds that one. So I was thinking, yeah, maybe do a thing like that. Or you add something like with the Boy Scouts of America, which is a scouting group for children and things like that, people and their youth. Now there have been all these complaints, oh, the Boy Scouts need to let in girls. And they finally have, and I think they've dropped the name boy from it. So now it's just uh, the Scouts. And uh, recently I just saw something, the head of the Girl Scouts of America was like, this is, I don't really like that this happened. And that's, who asked her, you know, what was she <laughs> asked about this thing? And a few people wanted to join the Scouts. Anyway, so she said, no, I'm not taking girls out of the name of it. I'm going to continue to focus on just girl issues because it's important to have a separate environment for girls. And there's this hypocrisy that goes on in society. We need female only spaces. We need black only spaces, minority only spaces. But hey, can we have male only spaces? No, that's very, there's a lot of fight against that. Can we have a white only spaces? I don't know, however you want to define white. If there's like BET, black entertainment television, they should be okay to have white entertainment television. That's not like the country music CMT, it's the country music television. Anyway, so <laughs> this whole thing with that all, um, situation with Miss America pageant, um, one thing I was thinking about was how about if you have a situation where you have a separate kind of pageant Because I don't really care about taking away the swimsuit stuff. Take it away uh, Who's actually watching the Miss America pageant for the swimsuit thing? I know it's a part of it But I always thought the odd questions that are being asked to some of these people in some of these situations I'm like is that really a pertinent question to beauty? So they're going to say oh, there's some inner beauty in this thing and then I was comparing okay If you have a male equivalent some people are saying bodybuilding. I'm like no Mr. Olympia is not the same because Mr. Olympia is just your body. They don't go and ask you about uh, world hunger and political issues and things like that. They don't really make too many plays of what else you do with it. It's like, no, you're just jacked. You're the most jacked human being in the world. Your your body has a certain physique, certain shape. And then there's also fitness uh, sections in the uh, Olympia pageants and things like that, where now I think they're going with a classical physique because a lot of people were using like anabolic uh, steroids and things like that, causing to have this this gloat, this butt, <laughs> not gloat, yeah, uh, bloat of the of the stomach and things like that, the abdomen. It's looking really freakish. So um, one reason the Miss Olympia actually ended in 2014 was because the females were also starting to use a lot of anabolic steroids and things like that. Started shrinking their breast tissue, started changing their jaw lines, started giving them a lot of mass. It started enlarging their uh, down their area that, <laughs> that the president said and women let him grab and things like that. So it became not um, attractive enough to actually be profitable and that ended. So you see, you have those kind of sections where it's like, look, we're judging you directly on how you look. And I'm completely okay with that. Have an area that does that. I have been thinking for a while they should have a separate thing for Miss Olympia, just like you have the fitness things where they do, uh, do that. They might do some like baton twirling or some other thing to show up physicality. But yeah, you have the physical beauty and then you have the uh, mental beauty and things like that in a separate section. Now, I was thinking, how about this for a uh, possibility of a different pageant? You have a thing where people come in, this can be for males and women, and to start maybe you have 20 contestants, they come into an area, they're just, they, the judges and see them, the people see them, and then questions are asked to these people, these people go away. Don't even give them the names or anything, just show the people. The people go away and then now it comes to the point where you just, 
asked him questions. He asked him questions on the computer or something, and then they type their answers back, or somebody translates it, somebody comes out and reads the answers. Then you can tell, oh, well, what are these people mentally like? And then when you start picking people, you say, okay, we don't like this person's question, they go. Then in the end, the, once the person has been voted off or something, they come out and like, yeah, this is me. Then you can be like, oh, wow, this is, the, this is the person's thoughts that match their physicality. Or what do you guys think about that? Um, I was just thinking they, they could be separate things for this, and I think you're going to find other places like the Miss Olympia pageants, the Arnold Classic and things like that, going to like the natural physique, going back to the people not using steroids, going back to natural bodybuilders. So you'll have sections where people specialize more, where it's like, yes, in this one, it's completely your physical. Then you can go somewhere else and have a pageant, which is more about personality and all of this. I had a friend comment who said, um, it's, it's good that this is ending. I wish pageants could end completely, because I think that will be a sign of uh, the end of the decline of Western civilization, which is very odd because there's people on the political right, he leans more to the political left, people on the political right who are saying that the fact that they're taking the swimsuit part out is an increased sign of um, the decline of Western civilization. So different things happen for the same reason depending on how you look at things. And uh, in the previous video I had about the snowflake issue, I think this is another snowflake issue. This is like something where it's like, wow, you have so much you really have so much in your life. Your life is so good where, like, this swimsuit thing is actually an issue. And then you have people on the political left, as I've seen some people talk about how they're looking up to somebody like Stormy Daniels. And, like, yes, yeah, Stormy Daniels got the key to the city in somewhere in uh, California. She's a porn star. And they're def coming to her defense talking about how she's done so much. She's the most successful porn star. People are attacking her integrity and things like this. She's a mother. She's put her kids through school. Women have been doing this work for so long. So that's horrible. But then... Uh, swimsuit part in a beauty contest all of a sudden that's the meaning of the people and at the same point somebody like Kim Kardashian who they really liked and Kim Kardashian for those of you who don't know got some fame through being in um in porn and things like that not porn it wasn't porn she's not a porn star she had a video where she had some intercourse with Ray J and then that kind of got her in more into the into the public light I think she was friends with like Paris Hilton before and her dad of course was involved in the OJ case but then that really skyrocketed her fame put her in a different strata but she's turned that around but she is well known for her physical self her whole family most of the family has gone on with like them being like sexually attractive and things like that but now people are on the left are kind of going at kim kardashian and being like oh why are you trusting what kim kardashian says now that she's meeting with trump so there's this whole lack of consistency and things like that but yeah uh, just let me know what you guys think about my suggestion for the different kind of beauty contests we have some focused on the inner beauty and then some focused on the outer beauty or how you can find a way to kind of tie those two things together in a different way but yeah uh what do you guys think did you guys watch the miss america pageant before are you going to stop watching it now um do you watch any pageants have you participated in any pageants yeah that's it for now like share and subscribe goodbye so on the screen now is a bodybuilder this was uh denise rutkowski also known as a golden panther she was started bodybuilding in 1989 and was second in the 1993 Miss Olympia pageant and had some issues uh, after that going in and out, having fighting with, I think, bipolar disorder and uh, taking of steroids, anabolic steroids, and also other drugs. And in the mid-90s, she was arrested, and this was her appearance then. You can see it actually changed her. Already when she was lifting, she would masculinize her in a way, her body structure and this is why the male female things come down to even the actual um, hormones that are going on in our body so having these hormonal imbalances and things like that does change the appearance of the person and can actually change the brain chemistry of the person so adding to whatever issues she had those steroids not a good issue so um, this whole thing with the beauty standards and things like this I think it's okay to have separate things and that I think yes Miss America pageants that's focused, the top beauty pageants in the world are focused on females. The top bodybuilding uh, competitions in the world are focused on males. So yeah, have a separate one where it's just focused on just the physical aspect for females and have a separate one physical aspect for males. Take those kind of physiques or beauty aspects to their max. And I think it's, I don't think there's a problem with that. I just think there's a problem when they try to say it's about other things and then they have that kind of hypocrisy in there.